Welcome to Quick Tips by Western Solutions. Today we're going to show you how to delete your Internet Explorer 8 cache. Now you'd want to delete your Internet Explorer 8 cache because you're viewing websites and sometimes what your what your computer will do is store old information about a website so that it doesn't have to download it each time you view that page. That way it can uh, give you a faster browsing experience uh, but what happens is you actually don't end up getting the freshest content uh, from you know each of the pages that you're getting. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell Internet Explorer to get rid of all of the old uh, content that it's stored in its memory by clearing what's called cache. So in order to do this you just need your Internet Explorer browser open and uh, if you can see this safety uh, button right up here it should be on the top right hand side of your browser and you click on safety and you'll see the first option is delete browsing history. So by deleting browser history you're going to be able to clear out all of those old files and it gives you a list of options here of what you want to delete. Uh, first of all, it asks you if you like to preserve your favorites website data, and of course you'll probably agree that this is very important to leave that checked off because you don't want it to delete any of your favorites uh, information. Uh, but what you'll also want to do is uh, make sure that the temporary internet files here is checked off. The temporary internet files are your uh, basically the, the images, flash files, uh, any other kind of data about a website that your computer stores, which may it may just refer back to rather than downloading fresh copy and you'll need to uh, delete that in order for it to you know need to get that fresh copy to display the page to you so make sure whenever you're doing this for this purpose that you leave off uh, leave the temporary internet files checked off uh, cookies will uh, you know are, are basically they're going to store information about your sessions on, on websites so anytime you need to log in with a username and password you start a session and cookies will store the information about that session so you don't have to enter in your username and password each time so you can leave it checked off or if you uh, uncheck it then you just will have well you may save yourself time from having to enter in your username and password to some places where you may have uh, saved it and not have to uh, uh, not have to enter that in again uh, form data and passwords are also the same you may have to uh, uh, enter those in again if you check these off and it'll delete it uh, the history here though is uh, not as important to delete uh, if you'd like to refer back to the sites you've been to uh, you can certainly do that. History just keeps a record of places that you've actually been, whereas the temporary internet files literally stores the websites that you've been to on your computer, making it faster for you to access them later, but not downloading fresh copies each time you've uh, you've been you go to that site. So leave the temporary internet files definitely checked off, and all you have to do is go down here to delete and click delete. And then of course we'll do that. And now anything else that we view with Internet Explorer 8. Uh, will be fresh and uh, the content will be new from the site that we go to.